Hello, my name is Rachel. I work in the partnerships team here at Go Cardless. Today, I'm the disembodied voice here to talk to you about the exciting new integration that we have with Sage 50 and why this is a great proposition for your customers and prospects. I'm sorry I'm not with you today. I'm sure I'll meet all of you very soon though. Go Cardless is a direct debit provider. So today, I'm going to start with why direct debit is a great solution for your clients then why Go Cardless is the leading provider and why we've been chosen by Sage to be your provider in product. I'm going to touch on how we can help, including some of the materials we've had made. And then we're going to show you a demo of Go Cardless for Sage in action. So first up, we think direct debit is a pretty awesome payment method for three key reasons. Firstly, it helps improve cash flow. So businesses get paid on time, every time. Why? Well, direct debit is a pool-based payment method. This means instead of waiting for a customer to push funds from their account to yours, for example, with a card or bank transfer, the business can pull funds directly when a payment is due. This is one of the key features of direct debit and a real benefit of switching from push-based payment methods. It means the business is in control of when they get paid, which means they get paid on time, every time. And because you're getting paid on time, you don't spend as much time chasing up your late customers and late payments. The average small business in the UK spends about 10 hours a week chasing late payments. But because direct debit helps you get paid on time, you'll spend less time chasing up those late ones. You'll also spend less time dealing with the admin of failed payments and churning customers. Failure rates for card payments are usually around 5%. Whereas with direct debit, we're as low as 0.5%. You also don't have the challenges of lost, stolen or changed cards, which stop payments going through. Bank accounts don't expire, are rarely changed and are much less likely to fail. Less admin time, fewer awkward conversations, chasing up money and more time growing your business. And lastly, direct debit enables you to take control. Contrary to some misconceptions, direct debit is a very flexible payment method. With direct debit, you can change your prices and charge for additional ad hoc projects whenever you need to, without waiting for your customer to action anything. This makes direct debit fundamentally different to standing order, for example, where the business must take a fixed amount on a fixed day, fixed intervals. So with direct debit, you could be taking six payments in August, none in September, and then three in December, all for different amounts and without asking your customer to change anything. This means that Go Cardless and direct debit is suitable for any business with an ongoing recurring relationship with their customer. If a business is billing the same customer multiple times, direct debit is likely to be a good option. For example, Business service companies use direct debit a lot. In fact, accountants and agencies are two of our biggest customer groups. Accountants might take a monthly retainer, then add additional services halfway through the year, increasing their monthly fee. Then at the end of the year, they might need to charge for an additional ad hoc bill, for an example, an end of year tax return. With direct debit, this can all be done on one customer instruction, instead of waiting for the customer to set up multiple payments. Another key segment would be any business with a subscription component. For example, landlords taking rent payments, local government taking council tax or fees for rubbish collection, any SaaS company or membership organisations like gyms or charities. So your landlord might be taking fixed rent each month and then they need to reduce a fee for compensation for an issue like a broken washing machine. With direct debit, that price change can be managed without having to organise a refund. Perhaps most importantly, the regular subscription business can also change their prices at the end of the year without asking the customer to set up a new payment instruction. So to summarise who direct debit is suitable for, direct debit makes sense for any business which has an ongoing relationship with their customers to so any repeat billing. That could be a subscription business with a fixed fee or professional service companies like an accountant. There are just two poor use cases you should be aware of. Direct debit payments take a few days to reach your account. So it's not a suitable payment method for businesses who require confirmation of funds immediately. For example, point of sale retail or e-commerce. Secondly, because the consumer protections in place around direct debit are quite high, 
is not a good payment method for businesses with very high transaction values. We typically don't take payments over £5,000. Other than those two areas, direct debit is suitable for everybody. All this also makes direct debit great for the customer who's paying the bill. Because payment is automated, there's no need to remember to pay on a specific date. Customers are notified before any payment is taken and they are fully protected by the direct debit guarantee. Because of the way payments are taken, there's a high level of consumer protection via the direct debit guarantee. And research by YouGov has found that direct debit is one of the most trusted payment methods for both consumers and businesses over and above cards and services like PayPal. And we think it's probably got something to do with that direct debit guarantee. So now you might be sold on direct debit, but why go cardless? Well, traditionally it's been hard to access, particularly for small businesses. There's a really high barrier to entry with significant regulation and old technology, which, which is owned by the major banks. Go cardless has changed all that we make direct debit simple. We're online first with an intelligent API which wraps around all that underlying tech and enables small businesses to set up, take and manage direct debit payments all online. We give you flexibility over your payments. Many direct debit providers only allow payments to be taken on a couple of specific days each month or restrict the ways in which you can add customers. We don't. We give real-time notification of payments and customers and we handle all the regulation for you. We ensure businesses are complying by sending customer notifications on their behalf. We essentially take the hassle out of the system. And at GoCardless, we have transparent pricing. We charge 1% per transaction with a minimum of 20p and a cap of two pounds. And unlike some direct debit providers, we only charge for successful transactions. So there's no hidden fees. This is different to many providers who charge for failed payments or charge setup costs for adding new customers, for example. You'll also note that at 1%, we're significantly cheaper than card providers, particularly for SMEs who can be paying 2.5% upwards for a card service. Because our service is so good, we use by over 25,000 businesses to collect their payments. That ranges from small businesses and one-man bands like window cleaners, to major enterprises like those shown here. And you'll spot a very familiar face on the top row there. Sage use GoCardless to collect subscription fees across the UK and Ireland, and you're a big advocate for our services. So if it's good enough for Sage, we're pretty sure it's going to be good enough for your customers. And in fact, we already know that this works. When GoCardless was very young, we built a simple integration to enable our users to integrate with Sage 50, despite the fact that it was written by our CEO, who, to be honest, is not an engineer and has lots of niggles. It's been used by more than 300 businesses to actively take payments. And they're really happy about the launch of our new integration and that more people are going to have access to the service. Here's a quote from Mike Bibby. He works at a small business who's already using GoCardless with Sage and he's really looking forward to getting more out of the service. We're currently working on more case studies so that you'll be able to show the real life benefits of GoCardless for Sage in action. So what does GoCardless for Sage actually do? Well, fundamentally, it will enable your users to do three things. Firstly, securely set up customers with direct debit from within their Sage 50 accounts. Secondly, collect payments on the invoice due date, improving their cash flow. And lastly, automatically reconcile those payments, saving hours of admin time. This means in practice, the invoices are marked as paid, fees are listed as an expense, and there's no manual data entry or trawling through your statements trying to work out payments or fees. So combined, you enable your users to save hours of admin time, improve their cash flow and save money making them much more likely to stay with Sage. And lastly, we're here to help. You can get in touch with us anytime and always feel free to send any customers who have lots of questions our way. We've got some great materials to share with you and some more exciting GoCardless swag will be landing in your office soon. On the screen here, you can see one of the things that we've produced, which shows why Direct Debit and GoCardless stacks up against other payment methods so that you know how to talk to your customers. 
And lastly, get in touch. We're a growing team over at GoCardless, but we've set up an email address just for you. So if you want to get in touch, contact us at sage at gocardless.com or my name's Rachel, so it's rachel at gocardless.com and we'll be really happy to help. Thanks very much.